how world leaders dumped Buhari invited Obasanjo Jonathan to world summit. World leaders converging in Seoul, South Korea, with her invitation to President Muhammad Buhari, but extended invitations to former President Ulushe Gombasanjo and Good Luck Jonathan to participate in the 2020 World Summit in South Korea. However, reasons were not given for the exclusion of the Nigerian president and the preference for the former president. Meanwhile, President, former President Ulushe Gombasanjo on Tuesday met former President Jonathan at the summit in South Korea. They were set to have met on the sidelines of World Summit 2020 in Seoul. Dr. Jonathan shared a photo of himself, his wife, Patience, and former President Udushe Gombasanjo on his Facebook page, expressing delight and making brief highlights of his activities of the, at the summit. He said, I was delighted to meet His Excellency Chief Olushegun Baba Obasanjo at the ongoing World Summit 2020 in Seoul, South Korea. Jonathan captioned the picture. After moderating a session of the International Summit Council for Peace, where many serving and former heads of government made intense and exciting contributions on how to heal a troubled world, I got my faith renewed in the belief that more commitment is required from all stakeholders in the pursuit of global peace. Global peace, Jonathan said. So, guys, I, I knew it when uh, Jonathan, you know, it was we did the video when Jonathan, uh, we saw that Jonathan was at that summit, but it's like after two days or after or the second day or so, we saw Obasanjo there as well. I knew quite well that. <clears throat> Uh, uh, a lot of things will start coming up. That why is it that the president is not there or whatever? But I just felt that maybe the present uh, president or leaders are not really needed. Maybe it's or something different that they really wanted them for, or maybe because of uh, the uh, the role Jonathan played as in when he uh, considered defeat about a uh, peace and what have you. But when I saw Obasanjo again, I was like, what is happening? I just like okay, maybe. The present leaders, you know, were, lo were not really needed. But from the information we are getting now that even seven and former heads of government, uh, government made intensive and exciting contributions. Uh, and I'm like, okay, maybe, okay, it shows that it's not as if uh, maybe they wanted the old uh, or the former president or it does not really involve the seven presidents or present uh, leaders. But from what we are getting you know, it's now telling us that, uh, or it shows that they excluded him, or maybe it is, uh, his presence, you know, was not needed, or is not still needed, because the summit is still ongoing. But very soon we are going to be hearing from uh, Femi Adeshino and uh, Gaba Shew. They are going to be telling us the reason why the president uh, could not could not make it. But from what we are getting, he was not invited. That is just the simple truth. But they need to come and tell us why, you know, he couldn't attend or they didn't even send for him. Definitely, they will justify a lot of things. That's just my own uh, simple opinion. I don't have uh, anything to say more than that. But let's hear what you, are, what you think or what you know about this kind of uh, event. And let's hear what people are saying first before we hear from you as well. Uh, someone is laughing. Someone said, I will suffer any jihadist is talking. Point of correction. They didn't ignore Nigeria, but the... The leader is who they ignored. The headman work was ignored. Shame on Awusa Fulani jihadist. That's what somebody is saying. And I don't think some people really agree with him. Someone say, God bless you, my dear. Someone say, a, peak, a, a pure Christian summit. Really? Hmm. You started adding a religion uh, correlation to that. Someone say, what value can the valueless Buhari had to the summit? It's the summit for peace and not for unrepentance. Un uh, jihadist that's what somebody uh says there and this one is a david dave Owa. of course it's on un like i said until we hear from uh, the spokespersons they are the ones that will tell us they are the ones that will tell us what actually happened definitely they will justify it or they will just think that oh, it's not really it's not for not it's not for anything maybe they will they might call it just a jamboree you know the way these guys the way they talk what can buari offer to the world that will enhance economic development nothing is a big shame really they invited those oh, <laughs> nigerians say eh? they they will never see cease to amuse one someone say 
They invited who are live. I thought I heard a president call Buari lifeless. Okay. Better thing Nahim a better better thing Nahim they say in say for market. Okay. Now better thing Nahim they say in say for market. That is what this person is trying to let us know. So are you saying Buari is not a good market? Okay. Oh. As someone say, man pass man. It's not on the road, but it's what you can display to your country and the world at large. Buari is dead walking container full of bad luck to Nigeria. Someone said they don't want to invite a terrorist to their country and human rights abuser. PMB who does not know that there is insecurity in Nigeria, you will invite to the world summit to say what? Hmm. How would they invite him when they know clearly that he's a religionist? fanatic whatever oh my goodness why are you surprised the new worry is dead you think they are stupid like nigerians <laughs> so so unfortunate maybe he may learn from this and adjust his bad ruling being a leader is different from being a ruler the world summit was meant for leaders and not rulers that was why they invited obasanjo and good luck as leaders and didn't invite pmb as all Indication shows that is a ruler. The organizer could not invite Buari because they knew the truth about these northerners that they are whatever. Oh my goodness. Another says here that uh, South Korea invites prepared people and not unprepared leader like uh, Muhammad Buari. They invite leaders with visionary quality who stand for one united Nigeria and not like a Buari who rehabilitate Boko Haram and put them back into our army force to keep killing Northern Christian. But this one is really, it's not, it's not really too clear. Honestly, that area of, a, you know, telling us that say, some people are repentant or they have repented, this is Boko, Boko people, that they have repented and you now recruit them back. I don't know the moral justification for that. In my opinion, I don't just know why it is like that. Does it mean we don't have people, people again? Does it mean that we don't have a people, you know, people in the army that can train new people to into the into the system? That it has to be people who say they have repented. How how are you sure that they they are, they genuinely repented? That is, it's really baffling and it's really surprising to me that they could just go in that line recruiting these same people who have committed that work, people who have done all manner of things. If that is how they are going to be forgiving people, I think there shouldn't be any need for. For, for for courts in the first place because we see people that they are carrying guns, they are armed robbers, they have killed, they have done that. If that is how or the line that we want to do, they should be forgiving all of those people too. It's very, 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 I don't know how to put it, very, very confusing. Someone said, you think world leaders are pathetic fools? Obviously, they are very much aware of the uh, demise of the elected president and can also too low to having an imported imported miscreant imposter parading as president among them <laughs> oh my god nigerians eh? they are very very funny well i am not sure that is the right thing to do because by isolating him you are gradually turning him into a demo from the tyrant is he, he already is huh. this person is seeing it from a different perspective that the best thing would have been to for them to invite him, not just trying to, <laughs> to not to even invite him, just to burn him. That it's it's be, it's my cause more uh, evil than good. And the summit was attended by former world leaders. Stop this nonsense. Uh, they said both pres presidents and uh, former uh, government uh, government officials. That's what we read there. Someone say they know Nigeria presently does not have a president. World leaders we know better than you who are Obasanjo and Jonathan. Hmm. Why was Buari not invited or has he been sidelined because of inactivity? I hope he's not being seen as a toothless bulldog. Tell us these seven leaders that are there. Some news like this irritating local junk journalist. That's what somebody says. Someone says, Mumu, can't you see? Um... Invite Jubri as what was Donald Trump, Boris Johnson, Angela Putin, and lots of them there. You people can lie fat. Mm. That's what somebody saying that those world leaders are not there. Someone say no requirements. 
I know you. Good morning to you. Try go wash your face, okay? I can see you woke up late today. Someone says that uh, they just try to snub him and nothing more. So, guys, uh, what do you really think uh, that the the president, our president, uh, they, they didn't invite our president? What do you think would have been the cause? Do you think that really they really needed the the, the present uh, president and what have you? Why would they have excluded him or maybe they invited him? Like I said, we are still going to hear. We until we hear from the spokespeople. Of course, we know that they are going to come on the side of defense to defend the reason why he was not invited. Maybe he was invited. That is my own opinion. Maybe he was invited and there is no chance for him to go. That is my opinion. Uh, somebody would like, oh, if he could not go, then he would have sent his vice or somebody to represent him. So let us hear and let us know what you think, you know, from this whole thing that our former presidents were invited, but the present president, you know, wasn't invited. Leave your comments below and let's have your take. Bye.